Hey people, welcome back to another video on Roblox Rich. Here's everything you need to know about the top 10 most difficult enemies in Roblox Dungeon Quest, but before you begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. All right now, let's begin. Number 10, Spider Queen. Spider Queen is voted as one of the most difficult bosses you can possibly fight in Dungeon Quest. Her primary attack is the String Blast. You left three seconds warning before she strikes the Red Blast Zone. She will then continue to fire six blasts in a three second span in the building she has a six second cooldown after this attack before she can attack again but it lasts longer when she spawns infected pirates these will cause the same amount of damage as one of her string blasts attack would but if they can't find a player to attack they may attack each other number nine demonic pirate captain demonic pirate captain has also been voted one of the very most difficult enemies to beat in the dungeon quest because of its mechanics you'll find him after an eighth room on the center of the deck in a large galleon he has four different attacks dark lightning tendrils spin attack player teleport and life steal it doesn't matter where you are on this map he'll find you no matter what because he has the ability to teleport to you number eight beast master beast master is the player's first mini boss on the king's island in the third room he has two main tactics which he repeatedly constantly goes after until he dies so watch out for them the checkered pattern in the spin attack the encounter will begin once a player has walked far enough into the narrow corridor or if a player dies before reaching them number seven the king the king may be one of the most daunting enemies for a lot of beginners and even some pros he is the main enemy of king's castle and you can find him in the eighth room the king alternates between two strategies global lava which covers the entire map of lava and a player avenges the king and the lava lash basically anyone who's within the range of the king swords will be harmed by the lava lash unless you are constantly moving around and avoiding them number six arc match Many players consider Archmage to be the most challenging enemy to battle in the dungeon quest, and this is due to the three extremely difficult mechanics. Arcane Beam, which fires a magic line at the nearest player, Arcane Grid, which he repeats every five seconds, and the Book Bomb. After a player enters the fifth room, or if a player dies before reaching him, the encounter will begin. Number five, Kolvamar. Kolvamar may be the most difficult opponent, but you can be limited in space when blattling him, and it's typically best to fight him alone because he's getting too many players on the field and it can be disastrous. Kovalar can be found in the underworld. When you enter the eighth room, when a player enters its range about a quarter of the way through the room, they will make Kovalar. Like most other enemies in the dungeon quest, Kolvamar alternates between two attacks mainly fire circles and charge number four ancient golem guardian ancient golem guardian is the second enemy you will have to fight in the samurai's palace when compared to the other more difficult enemies its attack style can be easier to conquer it normally begins by summoning a green circle on the random player and a rock falling into the green circle luck plays a major role here so you better hope that you're not the random player it chooses the second attack uses smaller quicker rocks so you'll need to be quick if you want to beat him it alternates between these two attacks before ending with a slam that generates several damage lines that radiate outward number three demon lord azrael because of his phases and massive amounts of HP, this one could be the most difficult enemy in Underworld right now. Azarek switches between three attacks with a fourth one triggered when it hits half of his HP. Demonic Lines, Sunbeam Smash, Global Summoning, and Heart Attack are some of his attacks. He might also spawn minions, so keep a lookout for that. Number 2, Sonata Yukamura. Sonata Yukimura is the first and possibly most challenging boss you will face in Samurai's Palace. He has two attacks as well as summoning ability. His attack patterns as follows. Four green stars appear in the area center, cheating damage lines. He also tosses three shurikens in the direction of the player. He can summon the elite swordsman, which has a radius of damage and moves quicker than the players, making it extremely difficult to counter. Number one. Miyamoto Mushashi. In Samurai's Palace, you will face Miyamoto Mushashi, the final boss. He, like Sanada Yukimura, has a summoning attack as well as three other attacks. His attacks consist of shooting a series of lasers in rapid succession, and some of his other attacks are very similar to those by Azrilek or and Gollum. He has the ability to summon ultimate swordsmen who can flame Cyclone to chase down a damage and the nearest player. 
Now, you don't have to get caught guessing the enemy's abilities, and you can fight them on head on. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this list. Well, this brings us to the end of our video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't liked the video, it's never too late, guys. Give us a thumbs up. We will see you in the next video, but until then, take care and goodbye.